Hey, hi guys. So today we'll be doing like a sort of podcast. It's kind of like a new series that we want to do for content. So hello uh, everybody. Yeah. So today we have here with me Fabian. Then we have uh, Alfred. Hello. We have Sky. Then we have uh, Blackbeard Hui. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Can you do the? Wait, where's the laugh? There's no way I'm doing it, guys. You all have to pay me for it. Okay, five dollars. Start laughing. Say ha 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 ha. Okay, add to that. <laughs> Minus credit. Is add credit. All right. So yeah. So uh, the topic of today's discussion is, or like podcast is gonna just gonna be like mainly what we're expecting out of like the sort of like ban list after worlds and maybe some talk about worlds itself like what we are expecting to win, who we are supporting, maybe also like uh. Talk about so because we are going into the for the English side we are going into the OPO second meta game so maybe we can t- touch on it briefly so uh, why don't we just talk about OPO six introduction of like maybe let's say it cost Moria yeah. but what do you all think about uh, it cost Moria yeah? I mean OP six new meta multiple new decks uh but uh the most uh famous of them all infamous I would say is uh. Uh, the it's not even a deck. It's actually a single card called Gecko Moria. Yeah. Yep. Card carry the whole, whole six game. Without this card, you got no deck. Yes, definitely a game changer in the meta game. But uh, as a non-black player, I would say Sky definitely disagree. Uh, I don't think the meta is that heavily focused on Moria lah, But I definitely <laughs> believe that Moria has. <laughs> Warp the meta in a way that everyone chooses to play Moria. I just believe that there are other strategies that we can uh, try to make use of instead of just saying that it's a Moria Whoa. meta. La. Unlike all these one trick sucker players that only know how to play this black color. <laughs> no, no, no. I love black and I cannot we'll say, lie. Uh. I think we should change it to Moria players. Yeah. Uh, again, we are not. Then me and Alfred are not Moria players. I am a true blue Moria player. Moria is dead. Okay, but I definitely <laughs> believe that Moria is such a strong card that was uh impl- that was included, right? That uh in the future, as long as your deck has this black color in it, um, you essentially can play anything you want. To be honest, like there's no there's not much of a punish. You know what I mean? Like, uh, would black, yellow, Luffy be that strong without Moria? You know what I mean? Definitely weaker for sure. It's like, um, example would be like Ob Seven right now. Like you see all the new black decks. They are just including four Morias in the deck, regardless of what they play. Yeah, the like, card is just that good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like as long as you're yeah. playing black, you have to add the card in, right? That, that's what that's what the the the, the deck has. Uh, at least the color has evolved into. I personally feel. Uh, I mean, not wrong, but uh, I still. I mean, there are some people that enjoy the OP six meta game still, though. I mean, Alfred, Fabian, you all like OP six? Yes, best. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring myself a Alfred has only uh, one Perona for the OP06 season. OP06 got Kaido, got Kaido. Don't say Kaido. Oh, got Kaido. <laughs> yes, yes, got two Kaido. <laughs> okay, but yeah. apart, apart from like Moria, right? Like, was there like any other like uh, big takeaways from OP06 though? Mm, I mean, I I was a resident Moria player la, for the team, so so <laughs> uh, grinded Moria for the entire season with, I mean the deck Moria for the entire season, just trying out different builds along the way. I think um the rest of your focus on some other decks. Mm, yeah, y'all can yeah just elaborate uh, elaborate I guess. I think I played. Oh, I mean, I pers- personally, is I've been playing a lot of other decks like Uta. La. I think Uta has a fair play in this. I think NL as well and Katakuri. Uh, I think one of the biggest winners on this side is definitely Yellow, to be honest. I think uh, even though with like so little cards, yeah. added, like, lit- uh, what I mean by that, like, there, there were not a lot of impactful cards, but I think one of the more impactful ones was definitely Reject. Um... Actually, yeah. only reject and maybe Okiku. Honestly, uh, uh to me, it's reject. Uh, the strongest yellow card yeah. ever printed for O6 is reject. 
I mean, I mean, uh, this card can 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 give you little of nowhere, man. This wins, yeah, definitely. This is one of those cards that are uh, that cheats that cheats you win, like for ye- for and color like, like yellow, it's like their dream card. Like yellow, just like yellow's identity, like throughout like the past few sets, I feel like they always been getting like this kind of like quality of life cards in a sense that like, they always keep getting upgrades every set. I mean, OPO OPO three yellow was like pretty fair, right? And then it got to OPO four, they got like ways to cheat the game with like bitch. OPO five came around, they got Amaru, then uh, like and now as the deck came about, and then O six reject. So like every set along the way, Yellow kind of like got like new ways to cheat the game. So it kind of became like sort of like the identity <coughs> of the deck, the identity of the color. I, I mean, to me, it's more upgrade yeah. on Katakuri as a whole, though. I mean, I mean, of course, NL still uses those cards, but but Katakuri with the with the inclusion of reject just makes it uh, yeah, just makes it harder to play around a lot of things, uh. Yeah. yeah, every set the deck just gets upgrades, like small upgrades here and there. Like OPO five, when you're playing, if you're playing Karakuri, okay, you're playing Karakuri. OPO four, you got Sanji and Beach, which are like uh utility cards for the deck. I mean, then moving on to OPO five, the deck got uh Gadatsu, Gadatsu, then uh Amaru, yeah, which gave the deck like extra kill potential and like a very strong turn three play. And OPO six came about, then oh we have now we have Onami, a pretty like strict upgrade to like Thunderbolt because it has the same ability but it comes attached to like a, uh, like a body with one K. Yeah, mm-hmm. it still can give. It's not a dead card basically, and it, yeah, just 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 every set along the way. I feel that yellow got like minor upgrades. With I think reject being one of the bigger ones, because like it gave the color like a way to close games from like a very weird angle sometimes. Like in most cases, when you you think you're safe, like behind maybe let's say a blocker when you're like one life. Then now they have this reject card. And they have two attackers on board, and suddenly you have to like guard one gem. Yeah, and it just gives them like additional reach. Don't uh, only have one effect. You still can pop something. So it's more than that. Yeah. yeah, super flexible card. You can use it to like pop pesky like five cost or less characters. Like maybe a four cost Kuzan. Or you can yeah, just use it yeah, to be... best friend Kuzan. I mean, but, but ultimately I still think yellow is still not that broken. I mean, it's just Bandai's love child to me, like getting upgrades along the way. But uh, still beatable, I would say. Still beatable, for sure. Yeah, so for like OPO6, I think uh, we have already kind of said what we want to say for like black and yellow stuff. But uh, I think we often missed out on cards like from purple and blue, right? Like blue, we received Tashigi and we received the Tuma event. Uh, what was the Tuma event called? Some sword. Uh, some Mura, Murakumo sword. Uh, so like I think we also missed out on the fact that like Blue also received uh these two powerhouses of cards. Uh, Tashigi being added consistency to Saka and um uh Murakumo mm-hmm. so having like just extra removal, right? I think this is something that we often overlook because all we do is bitch about this fucking Mora card. But I mean ultimately to me, Sakazuki is still the strongest deck in the meta, regardless of uh, I mean, I, I mean, you may think that Moria, uh, we keep bitching about Moria, the card Moria. You expect oh, no, like Saka Black not... Moria leader as a whole to be the strongest in the deck, but I still think Sakazuki is the strongest deck in the meta, though. It really depends as well for Saka. If you I mean, do draw Moria. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like Saka is like I, I reiterated this a few times, like in in our Discord, but like uh, when when they. When people ask like, should I play Saka or should I play Moria? Then like usually what I say is that uh, I just give them like, a brief breakdown of each deck. So I feel that Moria is like more consistent as a whole. Like the game plan is a little bit smoother. Like, the deck doesn't really like break as much compared to like Saka. Because Saka, even though your little ability somewhat makes the deck more consistent, right? You just one weak turn can just make like your entire game crumble. Like just one turn you can't answer maybe something just cause you're short of like a reducer or short of, like any form of removal. Yeah, then the game just suddenly like go becomes out of reach for the Saka player. So like, Saka, right? I feel that he has like a very uh sort of, quote unquote broken game plan. Because all you need to do is just remove your opponent's ball all the time. Then they only have like their leader left, so they only have, they only have like one attack every turn. I mean, so, it like, has this the highest sort of... ceiling though, right? This is the deck with yeah. the highest ceiling. Then yeah. yeah. OP yeah. yeah, so it's like comparable. I think Saka is like comparable to like uh, RG Law in the past. Maybe not as. Mm... Somewhat, somewhat of like a decent comparison, I guess. Then maybe something like Mora oh, will be. It feels like Kaido right now. Kaido in OP one. I get. Kaido in OP. I get that kind of feeling, man. Like if you just curve well, then you just slam Mora, then then just remove. Yeah, it, like, like, like just, yeah. Not... The board. Yeah. It feels like Kaido, right, guys? You're building up for a very safe turn to play out your yeah. Kaido, your Mora. 
Right, no wrong. Mm. Yeah, and Mora can do so many things in the deck. You can yeah, we're remove about, your opponent's board. We're talking about Saka we're talking about Moria? You're talking about the card now, right? Back to the card. We're talking about Saka. I think. Why? Oh, back to the Moria card. <laughs> So think, much to talk about this card. I think the main takeaway between Saka and uh, Black Mora is that one is a four life leader and one is a five life leader. Though I I honestly think Not that for me. four life and five life leader matters a bit drastically than uh what people underestimate it for lah. Because of like uh new leaders like Yamato, I think the whole deck really just punishes four life leaders, all right. Like in comparison to like facing Moria as the deck. I don't think the Moria player feels as much pressure as uh, a Saka player versus Yamato because of double attack. I mean, Yamato is a work in a park la, as a Moria player. As yeah, a exactly. Saka player, yeah. my, my, my good friend Noel once said that it's a work in a park too. I, mean, I don't think... A, a, bit, I don't a bit think harder, but I... Park, okay, it, it's not a bad matchup, I would say. I would say it's a bit unfavored, but it's not really that bad of a matchup. I don't know, man. I yeah. never really played that much Saka. Mm, in OP6 though. I, mean, I think on paper, Yamato seems like a direct counter to like four life leaders, which is I mean Saka yeah. included, right? Like direct because you just need to connect two swings and suddenly you're in little range. I mean that's how that's so, how that also be... hey, hi, Oi, Ben. Hey, Ben Dio. Multiple Australia winner. Uh Ben Dio, Benjamin Dio right there. Okay, then... Say something, Ben. Oh. Just yeah, but this is just this is just the few like uh main takeaways from OP6 la, I feel like uh I think you guys can talk about purple as well, right? Like with Reju and stuff. I think even though Reju now might not be like the top contender of what is the meta, uh cards like specifically uh Reju SR I think is such a strong pick for like RP Law, which uh, warp the deck into something that has some Which sort USR of definitely a uh, staple for the for the past for the next few sets in my opinion. Yeah, like yeah. for any other purple deck, right? Yeah, that's what I feel as well. Like I think we don't talk about these cards enough. We just talk about this Moria card, this reject card, and yeah. I mean, we are talking about <laughs> it because it's dominating the meta sky. Ah, yeah, these things we scared of. We don't. We don't ah. fucking scare of. Yeah, I mean, we're scared of getting Moria spammed, man. Nah, I don't know, man. <laughs> have you, have you I, tried playing, have you I tried think, playing the Saka mirror? I think the meta, I think the meta see, is you, okay. It's not that bad. Do you see Re Reject coming into you when you see you're going to one life? Hey, fuck, they are going to Reject. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I don't know, man. <laughs> you all have to give the Saka mirror a try in OP06 and come back, come back and maybe tell Sky what you feel. I think it's okay. Mimi and Alfred, and we have our fair share of it already. It's, it's, okay. not okay. it's not okay. It's not that bad. Not okay. First, I'm gonna play my Moria. I can wait for my open Moria. If they don't have, I'm winning. If they have, I'm losing. Because I need to play another Moria instead. So it's a back to back. Bad, Moria, bad. It, yeah, and if I... their Moria is stronger than mine, I, I'm I'm dead. Yeah. You then get an extra. They can go Ice Age, Ice Age, Moria, Helmepo, Luchi. Then my Moria explodes. Or they, if they are playing a <laughs> stage <laughs> variant, they can. Yeah, it's, I think they can do so many things with the card. Firstly, Mora as a self, too much value on its own. You can play like two cards from your grave. Like for eight dawn, for eight dawn, you're getting like at least 14, 14 dawn worth of cards. Because you call a four cost and a two cost, right? Yeah. Oh, we, we have Ben, Ben with us. He's our Singapore representative. I don't think oh, yeah. Ben. Bye. Yeah, but okay, with that in mind, uh, what's being this weekend? Uh, and there was a. Uh... What was that? Like, they, they kind of said that there was going to oh, be, like, a restriction list or whatever, right? So, like, y'all, like, have any predictions of what's going to get hit? Like, I want Moria to get hit, uh, basically. Because, I mean, we're in an OB7 meta game, and every black deck is still running this stupid Moria card. And it, it's really, like, taking away the creativity part of the game. So, I want the card to be at least restricted, maybe to a thriller bug leader, or um, the card being errata. Something like that. I mean, something must be done to the card, lah. In my opinion. Yeah, but that's for sure. But NA didn't ha haven't touched O six yet, so. I mean, uh, the NA ban list will probably be a bit different <laughs> from us, lah. Based on past uh, I think so. past few uh patterns, yeah, like like the Moby uh, the Nami ban, which I think is absurd. Yep. Mm. So probably oh. different from us. I mean, I'm pretty sure the NA folks will get a taste of Mora before. Uh, any band needs to be put in place for them, I guess. 
I mean, the rest of the decks to me still okay. I mean, it's just this Mora card that's limiting the creativity part of the game for black players, I guess. Also, when I'm building a black deck, I like, I don't want to put the Mora in, but at the end up I see like, oh, this four cost and this two and this lower cost is really not bad. But I need we to put the Mora. No choice. We have to put the Mora in, man. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. It's not, it's not really no choice. It's just that when, I mean, when it's I looked at when EBU, yeah, when when EBU one came out, like this Ky- black yellow Kairos leader. When when I first looked at it, the first thing I thought to, to myself was like, how do I how do I abuse Mora with this card? Yeah, I think that's like something that needs to go. Like, when, whenever you look at a black deck, you don't want the first thought that comes to your mind will be how do I abuse Mora with this leader? I think it's not really healthy for the game because it, it's just gonna hurt like a design in the future because every card, every like sort of like black card they make, right? Moving forward, they will take this Moria card into consideration. Like even then in OPO Seven, look, I mean, look at OPO Seven right now. We have this new like very cool eight cost Sabo card. We have this new boss monster CP boss monster Stasi. But then you compare these to Moria. What well, what what do you all feel? I mean, Moria's the best man. We love Moria. Yeah. Yeah. Like any, I... any like new black boss monster in comparison to Moria it looks like shit. I, what, what do you think, Sky? I think it's the direction that what they want to go with. So, personally for me is that I think that uh, Moria is only that good because your your pool of four cost stuff right is generally the strongest stuff for Black. What I mean by that is like four cost Bossa, uh, four cost Kuzan, uh, Rebecca, and then your two cost searches, your brand news, your Tashigis, your Helm Apples. Uh, honestly. Yeah, and, and Luchi, right? Like, focus Luchi. So, in reverse is that, will Greco Moro be that good without these focus monsters, though? So I mean, how yeah, about so... we think about it differently? If they are not focus, let's say they are like five cost, will it be shit? I mean, the cards will be too shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think yeah, about yeah. it that way. Right, right. But y- you also have to go into reverse thinking that, okay, Moria might be a problem because I want to abuse Moria, but is Moria abusable if I don't have cards that I can call out with that gains me these advantages, though? You know what I mean? Like, if the deck, if my deck doesn't run Kuzan, doesn't run Bosalinos, then uh, I tentatively have no reason to actually run this Moria card. Unless I have other... Alright, let me... How about I, I give you an example? To do it. Look at BY Luffy. They don't run any super strong 4 Mara cards. They, 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 they splash 4 Moria in to call 2 baby Aces, baby yeah. Sabos, and baby Luffys, and the deck becomes super super broken for some reason, man. Yeah. Yeah, same, so, man. This yeah, but, Moria but, card. But that's, gotta go! That's, that's, that's the difference between uh, abusing the card and creative deck building, one, right? It, it, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure when you make the black or yellow deck, yes, there are people that initially thought that, okay, we need this Moria card because Moria is great and all, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also goes to the fact that, okay, do I have space to run these cards when I have to run my engine of running the baby Luffy's and stuff and then the big ones? I think it goes both ways. Yes, I think Moria is a little bit overtuned, but I don't want to just... Is much synergy in the game yeah so, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's the that's the issue i have is that there's too many good four drops and two drops for the deck to abuse it uh in a way that yeah sure it might seem like a problem but i don't think outright it's like oh you know like got the got a card got a card no, no, no. I, I i i don't think that way i think but uh this will also form or wrap the future of what one piece will be la. imagine every imagine if let's say i i we have already printed an eight cost card that does that calls out two stuff in the future, if uh, I have an A cost card that calls out three stuff, then that would be the new quote unquote Gecko Mora, right? It's like like what Fabian said, you're comparing A cost to A cost. Uh, look at what Raid has. Raid has an eight mana nine K rush. That's wow, it. That- dragon. <laughs> we love dragon, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Monkey like- D Dragon. <laughs> yeah, and then you compare to your eight mana nine K that calls two stuff out. You know what I mean? That 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 gains you more stuff. So uh, super dog shit cut. I, I, I don't want to just say like, oh, uh, Moria's great because Moria gains me card advantage and it's always abusable. It's more of like, what is the direction of what uh, One Piece will be going towards now? La? That's how I see. La. It's, it's like, I they probably can't print any more for cost stuff, so if not, we abuse with Moria's, right? Obviously, the easy way to put it is that we got Moria and then, uh, you know, every other deck can be playable, but um, from a creative standpoint, right, on how card games have evolved, I think... If every two sets something is abusable and then it just gets gutted, right? It just means that uh they are just not doing their jobs. Uh. That's why I feel uh. I feel like if every two sets we have to implement a ban list, I just think that they are not doing what they are supposed to be doing, uh, which is to create a good card game. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> 
You know what I mean? That's how I see. That's how I see. Still hate though. Fuck Mora. That's how I see lah. So I think there are plans that uh, I don't think Mora is gonna be directly. I think it will be indirectly. He, he, like there has been news or talks about uh, Rebecca, right? Everyone thinks Rebecca's a bit too too good. And and then and now with synergy with uh, mm. Moria, you know, it's just one thing or another, no? Nah, based on my experience right here, Moria is definitely getting hit. We I can mean, bet yeah, on I mean, it, guys. In actually, it's not mm. like the black card pool. It's not just the black card pool, okay? Any subsequent four costs, any subsequent two costs or lower characters that they make, as long as your leader has black wow. in it. Mora can abuse it. Fabian has a point though, cause Mora Mora is not uh color locked. Yeah, yeah Mora can all like like uh characters that belong to other colors too, like like Blooding, for example, blue a blue a blue character. Yeah. I mean, of okay. course. I mean, this Mora card has like has a lot of mixed reviews in the meta right now, but. I mean, we can all safely say that this is an overtune card. Whether it will result in a ban, I mean, that's up to Bandai's decision. But, I mean, I mean, we get to we get to see you uh, on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> we de- yeah, I'm yeah, really yeah. looking forward to it, lah. That's all I can say, guys. But yeah, I mean, guys, other than Moria, though, other than Moria, what other cards do you all think should deserve a spot in the ban list, though? Uh, wow, this. Very hard question to be honest. I mean, I see yeah. uh, a few yeah. discussions about 10 cost yeah. mom. 10 cost big mom. What do you guys have uh, to yeah. say about that? I need to carry the Kata deck, so I don't think so. Yeah, Without, I don't think. Okay. I feel mom. that you, the, the balance shouldn't like outright kill any decks. Like, okay, my, my, my take on what I want the balance to be is that I just want them to Aerotar Moira. Just, uh, not 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 even like lock it behind a trailer bug leader. I just want him to Aerotar Moria to only be able to like let's say play trailer bug characters from the trash. Doing this, I don't think you won't kill the Sakazuki deck because Saka will still retain his identity as like the removal deck. Having like bot like the deck that can bot deck your bot deck your opponent's stuff or like do IHL combos to pop your opponent's bot, like breaking your opponent's bot. I think that's Saka's uh, Sakazuki's identity. While for Moria. Even if you take away that from Sakazuki, the deck can still do what it wants. And even in the Moria deck, you don't necessarily kill the Moria deck as well because your boss monster is still there. You still can get value off of Moria. You can call like your good trailer bug stuff. Though not as, I mean, the couple will be severely limited because you only be limited to like maybe let's say your Hawkback or like uh, Absalom and like, um, and I guess like the blocker dog. Wouldn't, right? but, wouldn't it be still too much value though? No. I yeah, that, so. that's, that's what I mean. Like, it doesn't. Outright, it doesn't outright kill uh, Moria, you get what I mean? Like, it doesn't outright kill Black Moria. Black Moria can still play the Black Moria card. It's just that it can't be, like, Moria as a card won't be as flexible anymore. Like, you can't just use it to be, like, a removal board. Like, to call, like, uh, Helmepo Luchi and pop, like, opponent's board while still developing, like, a uh, very strong 8 cores and a uh, 4 cores on the board. And Moria can still do Moria things. Like, you can play the value game. In fact, I think that's what, that, that, that is what I feel like Black Moria's identity is. Like, a deck that can play the grind game, a deck that just... A little bit more interaction with your like your dons, like I I feel that in OPO six currently when I'm playing it I feel that uh, I I kind of lost touch with the game because I'm not really using like my dons to like attach to my like my characters or my leaders to swing. I'm using my dons to like just tap out and blow up my opponent's bot. <laughs> it's, I, mean, it's I, more I, I don't know why is this. I forgot to use my brains. Yeah. So I'm just praying <laughs> and trying to get that fat man. With two seasons. But 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 if you okay, you play that yeah. way, right? It, it feels like it feels like a super duper big buff to just moral leader in general though. Put put yourself in the perspective <laughs> I mean No 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 but put yourself in the perspective that let's say we okay, let's say in a world where we cannot play Mora in Saka or any other black deck, right? Then aren't you just playing a Saka deck into a few of Moria's that can run Moria? No uh, I'm not saying that okay. I, I meant for the Aerotar to be locked behind trailer bug characters. Like, you only can play trailer bug characters off of Moria. So this ah. way, you can't really abuse any of the other... Yeah, you, you can't abuse Rebecca, you can't abuse Kuzan, Borsalino, or like, even Branyu. Like, the only value you can get off Moria is like, you, you, you play a Hawkback, and Hawkback gets back another Moria for you for next turn. And that's, that's plenty strong in itself, I feel. And I feel that that's one of, like, the, 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 like, the cool things Moria can do, right? Like, you can play your Moria, call a Hawkback, Hawkback gets another Moria for next turn. So like you're yeah, playing this like never-ending resource game with the opponent, so you always be ahead. 
I yeah, think it's fine though, like, because because result. if you are doing yeah. this right, then then uh, I mean, um, in O six, I think what we do, I mean, what we do in Moria when we want to farm for like a lot of cards, right? We call two, two units that allows you to retrieve like extra cards, right? Like brand new plus Hawkback or Kuzan. I mean, in this case, right? I mean, calling Hawkback and we are not restricting it to like a brand new, so it means that we 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 are. Uh, I mean, by okay, other uh, other than calling a four cost and a two cost unit, right? We just get back one card. I mean, I think it's still not that bad. In my yeah, way. like the deck fine. It, 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 I feel it, the deck gets weaker just because of this. Like, but it doesn't kill the identity of the deck, which is what I want. Moving, which is why I want for the ban list. Like, I don't yeah. want them to like kill. No. I don't want them to kill. kill I want all right. Kill any decks. But overall, for this, I think it's pointless thinking about this. You can just move on with others because my guessing on in fact we may not be right as well. So. He's just touching on things that, yeah, you should just... I mean, personally, I hate Ten Mom, ah. Xiao Lang, bro. Ten Mom is a balance <laughs> card, bro. Yeah, I hate Ten Mom, man. Ten Mom is a tank cost unit. 12k, burns a shield, <laughs> gains a life. Uh, yeah, uh, you, can, you can see me become, like, helpless when when the, when the fucking Jimmy at the, at the flagship spams ten, uh, four Ten Moms in my face. Bro, Ten Mom is yeah, a that mom is a fair card. Oh fuck you mean man. That mom is fair. Every time they, every time they call it that mom, their life right is for sure Thunderbolt. No. <laughs> no bro, that mom is a fair card. Last life. Yeah. Have you experienced that mom into gain a life into Amaru into gain another life into bitch? <laughs> that mom is fair. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that mom is fair bro. Let's go. I, let's go. I got uh, Singapore BCF. My opponent had one life, he played 10 months, became two life, then I swung Amaru, swung trigger Amaru, bitch. 10 months is fair, 10 months is fair, 10 is fair. Yeah. That's, 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 that's yellow thing. Yeah, nah, nah, we are sleepy. Yeah. That's just... 10 months is fair, 10 months is fair. That's just that yellow thing. I, I, I think 10 months is fine, honestly. I don't think it needs to go. I think it is, it is the deck's identity. I mean, only, only sure big numbers need it. Well, cut up price, like... There right yeah. now. Yeah. Patakuri is that one mom is not fair. Damn it. It's the nah, one nah, card nah. that's carrying the archetype, so I think it's fine. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, this stupid yellow, yellow deck yellow from O is... three survive until O six. Yellow is fair. Yeah, stupid no big, big, stupid big oh mom. Bad it. Should survive so. Long. I, I think whatever you, whatever you put on the ban list, I feel that you shouldn't alright kill any deck. Yeah, if you put ten mom on the ban list, then <laughs> this. Curry, yellow deck still just... works, guys. No man. Yellow is fair. Throw it out the window. Yellow is fair. Yellow is fair. I don't know what you guys. I don't care about yellow man. Yellow is fair. Sky looks yellow. Ignore okay. him. I think I think enough talk for our O six stuff. Uh, Rose is this weekend. Uh, Rose is O five format. So what what do you think? Like, who, what's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Uh, what deck? Oh, gonna personally, win? I would. Personally, right. I personally would <laughs> love for the format to be O six though. What do you guys think? Nah, it? it doesn't matter. I just want to know O five. You think what? Who? What deck is gonna win? And do you think, you know, maybe like is is anyone from Asia is gonna win or is 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 a Japanese gonna continue winning? Cause there's so much wait, more. Wait, Japanese Alfred, you need you need to pen the camera to Ben, man. Oh yeah, yeah, I turned already. Okay, I done again. Okay. Guys, I hope he this guy will be the winner, man. I hope lah. Yeah. If not, yeah, uh, my my best buddy from Malaysia, Mister Quick Fang Rong. Yeah, they both for the same hairstyle. They both for the same hairstyle. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they both the same hairstyle. They both playing the same deck. I think. <laughs> I mean, this Guang Rong guy keeps saying that he's the best sucker in the world, right? Yeah, he better to put his words where his mouth is. But 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 yeah yeah, I I'm expecting to see a lot of Sakazuki. I guess. I mean the from at least for the Asia side. The Asia guys, I think they will be running more Sakazuki. The Western guys, though, I think we are expecting to see more Enel and Purple Luffy. No, Personally, no, I think no. the, the Jap guys are definitely running Sakazuki. Oh, Saka to me. <laughs> yeah, I think. I mean, my, my, my take on 05 is that Saka is the undisputed best deck in format. Okay, yeah. I don't want to be biased, but I'm quite sure Japanese people, right? <laughs> will, people will play Kata. I'm quite sure got a lot of Kata players this weekend. Like, I'm quite confident. Mm. Like, Japanese players, okay, they love Kata their Saka, is... but I, I, like, from recent CS, right, they also love a lot of Katakuri. Like, they are the pioneers of this Ego Kata deck. Yeah. They are the. You're yeah, not wrong, you're yeah, not wrong. And they, they, constantly they have uh, proof results with the deck. So I think 
uh, they you know they they probably feel that it's Fable versus Sakura and stuff. So I'm and <laughs> like like you guys uh as competitive players we already expect Sakura players. So why won't these Japanese players suddenly just bring Kata decks just to try to win against Sakura? You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's yeah I, I think that's something that can be considered as well. I think because people know that like Saka is best deck in format, people are gonna bring this deck. Maybe we can expect some pocket picks to pick up, like come out. Pick up oh, about, like the red. Na- Natsume, oh. Natsume, red, confirm red. plays Zoro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if I play yeah. Zoro's right, I play Zoro for sure. <laughs> Natsume, confirm <laughs> plays Zoro. Zoro. <laughs> if I bang into NL, fuck it, man. Um, I mean, how how many NLs can there be? I I can take yeah. I can take one L in Swiss as long as I'm winning everything else. If you're fatal to win, if you're fatal to win, there's like two NL, you also won't meet them. If you're five NL, you also won't meet them. You're gonna yeah, meet them. Uh... Right. But, yes, but yeah, I hope I hope someone from Asia wins. Uh, I I mean, could be Ben, could be Quan Rong. I don't know. But if not, I want Natsume to win. Uh, ah. um, okay. <laughs> yeah, like okay, Quan Rong or Ben win. Then if neither of them can win, then I want Natsume to win. Easy. Not, not so the Aussie representative here. guys. Uh, Alan. Uh, Aussie will get Alan. Oh okay. What did he play? Double Luffy. Yeah. Ah oh, yeah. Okay. Somehow Alan... I I think a Papa Luffy will win the whole thing though. Uh, honestly, I tell you, I think Alan, Alan that day, right? He had quite a performance. His score is, uh, yeah. His score, his score is got here score. Yeah. No. Okay, even if even if we don't just see on results wise, right? I think he was definitely the best Australian player there. To really, yeah. Like Let's if see. I will pick anyone to represent Australia, I think it will be him. Uh, from that day's performance, he was. The we games are played, there. The games he played and how he played was really, yeah. Is. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, his score is literally two in three days, mm-hmm. even the fucking side event. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Fabian or hell, you're 5 0 in the 5 4, man. Amazing. He oh, from you, uh... yeah. <laughs> No, I 5 0 in the 5 3, it's different. Same, you played the last yeah, one, yeah. Also, I've lost. Oh, really? <laughs> I X2, uh, so. Yeah, Alfred, Alfred never get to play. <laughs> what was playing? Get me. <laughs> But yeah, that's, I mean, uh, no, I we're still expecting it. more Sakara guys. I will still. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm still on. I'm still on the Sakara train for OPO five. I think it's really best thing in format. I mean, I love Sakara even if, too. Yeah, oh. even against like it's. I feel even against like it's sort of like uh bad matchups like, like it'll be like the people are attacking for you or, like playing decks like Red Zero against you right. I think even oh, those yeah. matchups are like, manageable. Mm-hmm. Like you don't really auto lose to anything, which I which is why I feel that Sakara is like best deck undisputed. Like even against like your worst matchups, you don't really hundred percent lose. Yeah, you can somehow cheat the uh, like from your value from the kind of advantage from like Rebecca, Zahinas and Luchis, yeah, you can somehow cheat back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For you sure, for sure. just to, you know, sorry. But okay, with that in mind, right, uh, as y'all think Saka is gonna win, uh if I recall the US side and the EU side both also were Saka representatives, right? Uh, uh, EU, yes, I think. I think. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, NA yes. oh, uh, is NL. Oh. NA is NL and NA, one Saka. One NL and one yeah. Saka. I remember Clyde, Clyde was playing Saka then. Uh, what was the, what's the, the first place? What? Jonas, uh, Johan. Uh. <laughs> Johan, Johan. Johan, Johan, Johan. Yeah, he played NL. Okay, Johan. So, with, with that in mind, you know, you think, like, uh, as Saka, like, it's such a hard deck to pilot. Uh, with, without that much game experience, do you think, like, they will have similar performances to their uh, NA or EU regionals? Or do you think like the Asian players will have a higher ground uh, because just because they play the set more? Mm. I think we have in both sides we have enough time to even be better to at one each side. Because we for Asian side we did play O six, O seven, E B even E B as well. We are so much further than them. So even we go back to the this set again we need to test again. I mean, the right. meta is totally different, right? Like, like the way you play Saka in 06 and 05, totally different things. Yeah, we need to go back there again. Like, like we said, 06 is just sprinted, Moria, Moria. I don't think we remember how to play in 05 really. Mhm, mhm, for sure. I mean, I mean, it's more of I mean, I, I, I think it's not mo- based on like um like time time taken, or like uh different meta sets, uh yeah, like no, like, like no, different no, no. uh. One piece sets that we played last. So I I think it's more like the environment you're playing with, or like the people you're playing with. Like like 
like I think for the Western players, right, they have more like unique deck list that's different from the standard Saka list, right? I guess. I mean, that will definitely play a part, I feel, when you're playing against the Asian and the Japanese folks. Okay, I hope so. Honestly, I think... Okay, regardless, right, actually, I just want a non-Japanese player to win Worlds. <laughs> Why? I I, I, mm. I I don't know. I just feel like it's so concentrated uh, to have Japanese players that... Yeah, you, yeah. like, the Japanese actually got higher chance to win. Like, from what we see, like, oh, they have the higher chance because they are... Because there's more Japanese players. I, oh, I, yeah, just based on numbers. Yeah. That's, that's why we're trying to, like, get people from outside of Japan. But I think that's a... <laughs> I mean, I played Han Yong then. I Mr. T Sun. Fuck Han Yong. Last year, he was supposed to win. Yeah, rookie, rookie mistake. Hi, yeah. T Sun. T Sun. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, no. ace player. Not, not that much, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I just. I just but hope but I... you're right. I, 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 I do hope it's a familiar face, but personally. Oh, for sure. If it's a, if it's someone I recognize, them, that would be great. But I just want a non Japanese player to win. Full stop. Full stop. I, I just think that if it's if a Japanese player wins this. It's not gonna be a good time, you know what I mean? So I, 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 you never come. Why? Yeah. Okay. Fuck uh, I, 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 bro, I regret I never go to Japan to like for Wolves this year. Like. I get to see so many. Really man? Yeah, you Eggman. Still fly, right? Bro, Eggman go, Voodoo go. You can be like Andrew. Uh, you can be like Andrew or Jimbo, bro. Just a day. Just take five hours. You can settle it down. We are fight right now. It's okay, lah. It's, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay. it's not even a week. Not even the weekend yet. It's okay, it's okay. If I never no. plan, I never plan means I never plan. It's okay. I stay here. Don't don't take more than one day to come plans. Plans can may come nice. fast, may come slow. It's okay, <laughs> guys. But yeah, uh, for worlds this weekend, uh, I personally think Kata might win, but but I think generally the correct answer would probably be Saka la. I just think that if uh everything goes well, no, I think a Kata player will win. win we don't have a Kata player that is on top. Or, if I'm not wrong, is the one that won twice with Kata uh, representing Japan? I'm not sure that. Okay, Probably if he's representing Japan, Japan, if it's him, uh, I know I know who is Alfred talking about. If it's him, yeah. right, I think got quite high chance he can win the event. Because he legit very, very yeah, good. Yeah. He's, he's, he's oh, insane. Oh, he's a very, very good Kata player. Like, to be very, very For awesome sure, if you win twice... He take the two tournaments twice with yeah, he's with Kata fucking and... he's fucking good. I I watch him play shit. Wow, I tell you, insane, fucking insane. But yeah, I think uh... Sporty got some amazing triggers and all that. But definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> nah, but just something. Yeah, but okay. Then I think uh, I assume like the the three of y'all just think that Saka's gonna win it, right? No, Papa Luffy is gonna win it. You think Papa Luffy's gonna win what? it? I'm on the Papa Luffy's gonna win. Black Horse, I think. I think. They play for quite a while, so he is. I not okay. I not sure. I not, not sure this video when it gonna come out. <laughs> but he's thinking. Yeah, that's what I can think. Who is thinking? Guys, Papa Luffy is gonna win it. Mark Ellen, my Ellen words, is thinking. guys. Ellen, come on. Uh, one wrong train. Yeah. One wrong train. One wrong battle win, man. Oh fuck! You don't want Ben to win. Yeah, I'm the best. best. Yeah. Catch race. I'm the Asia. best. Best. <laughs> No choice all, we, we side bet all, we side bet, we side bet. Okay, Papa Luffy, Luffy. Luffy. Any Papa Luffy. We side bet $10, we side bet $10. Okay, $10, any Papa Luffy gonna win. I say, I say, Kata gonna win. Alfred, Alfred and Fabian is what? Saka. Oh, wrong. You specifically want to buy Kwan Rong win, is it? Saka yeah, with Hina. Oh, Saka with Hina, not, not Chao Fan, not Pilaf. I also think the Pilaf deck cannot win. I think Pilaf a bit too... A bit too... Greedy. I think. Okay, okay. If from trigger, I'm not... Yeah. Too, too strong too, then that, that's gonna give yeah. you a higher if you advantage. Trigger, yeah. If you trigger the fucking Pilaf, uh, you confirm winning, I assure you. But I don't think it's that... <laughs> I don't think it's that easy to always trigger Pilaf lah. I should try it. Eh. I'm blessed. Yeah, but I think yeah, if you always... Life, really don't do it. I think if you always trigger Pilaf, I think... Yeah, play Pilaf. But if not, I won't. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not putting my money on this Pilaf build. La. That's how I see it. Papa Luffy, guys. Fuck my, my words. I don't play it, yeah. Okay, Papa Pilaf Luffy. Pilaf build. So $10, ah. Uh, we better $10. <coughs> $10, everyone. 
Oh, ring it on Guan Rong. Guan Rong, you better win it for me. So you only buy, oh, so you only buy Guan Rong win, ah? If Guan Rong never win, of course lah. There are so many Saka players with an unfair advantage. Oh, oh, okay lah then. You should pay or something. Buy Guan Rong. Buy Guan Rong win works. Wow, that's that's. Okay lah, Guan Rong win. Guan Rong win. You da eat one to four lah. You 放这个十块，你拿我的钱，尖锐的先，还 offer 的钱。Yes. See, right? Okay. I can't. I can't. Because there's six Japanese players, and we don't know who's on top. But, we we know one defection. The Nasumi the Joe Ray. No, he's gonna yeah, play Saka lah. He's gonna play Saka. He's gonna play Saka lah. Nah. Okay. Okay. You do that, Zoro. Why stop betting, man? Ten dollars. <laughs> okay. He's gonna okay. play Saka. Okay. Play Zoro. I bet he's not gonna play anything that's not Saka. Okay, so anything, anything else you give me? Anything else? No. Okay, I bet he common plays Zoro. Okay, I bet he's not gonna play Zoro. Okay. Everything else? Or do Ben know what they gonna play? Since he's a he's a player that gonna play weekend. How would Ben know? Oh, I think Ben know. Do maybe? Gonna get like some data. Gonna guess. Okay, data. I think Ben don't care lah. No, we don't care. We care about a bit. There's gonna be like two I know. One P Luffy, one Zoro lah. As in minimally, I think two Zoro lah. One on the Japanese side, one on the English side. Oh, wow. But that's what I heard lah. I don't know lah. Wow, wow. You see, you see, we got some. Oh, yeah. Maybe Clyde. Maybe Clyde. Yeah, secret. Tata wise, I never get anything. Tata wise, I never get anything. Yeah, Tata no more. Maybe Clyde play Zoro. Maybe Clyde play Tata. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Clyde may get that. We shall see this weekend, guys. Pepper <laughs> Luffy, mark my words. Yeah, okay lah. Okay lah. I yeah, but uh. Yeah, so anyway, think Pepper Luffy is gonna win worlds. I think Sakazuki is gonna win worlds. Guan Rong is gonna win worlds. Our Asia representative, Alfred thinks. I I. I gonna win. Yeah. Okay, Saka with Hongblaze is gonna win. Fuck you, which Saka deck? Which Saka deck knows Hongblaze? Idiot Saka player does not play Hongblaze. Yeah. If you don't draw Hongblaze, Saka is lousy. It's fucking lousy. Shit deck. No, like some hi- some be tr- Mark my words, man. Some high roll purple Luffy fucker is gonna win the whole thing. He's, he's gonna one show one. up and, and all the Saka <laughs> players will miss their Hongblaze and they're gonna go overran the cards. Purple Luffy's gonna take it all, man. End of the words. End of the words. Oh, 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 maybe got some fuckers think differently. Some Japanese player think it differently and run some uh, nah. some things that we don't know, like literally. Uta, what about Uta? Uta, green Uta. Uh, <laughs> oh, you have been doing Skylife again? I think don't have. I think cannot. I don't think they can play green Uta. Why cannot? Can? I oh, cannot. Legal. Okay, Benzie can. Benzie can. Benzie can. Benzie can. Yeah, legal. it's legal. Uh, mm. Oh, if, I go I rules, I win. Win. if I go rules, I win. If I go rules, I win. Ready lah, lah. This fucking Uta slut, man. I go rules, I win. Ready, bro. This Uta deck, lah. Watashi wa psycho, bro. Crazy person talking. I go rules, I win. Ready lah. This Uta deck. All these Saka player don't draw perfect. How to win my deck? Bro, just don't draw. Wang Kuzan, okay, take. then Sky thinks Katakuri is gonna yeah. win. Yeah. So Katakuri. who's gonna be right? We will see this weekend. We'll see. Right. So I think that more or less sums up our podcast. So hopefully all of you enjoy listening to us just chatter among ourselves, <laughs> discussing like maybe some One Piece matters. So hopefully this is something that we can do a little bit more in the future. Probably, possibly like once every time like a sort of a new meta game develops, we can maybe or, or even touch on it. Like, Oh, um, yeah. I think we should do one. Yeah. Maybe we can do one post, post, post like walls, right? Talk about it. Talk about the results and all. So yeah, maybe there's something we are looking to do this podcasting a little bit more regularly if we can. So oh, next time we can. Kind of fun. Can even... Not gonna lie, guys. Huh? You say it's kind what? of fun. Kind of fun, man. Did we say it's fun? Yeah. yeah. It's something new, lah. We just pop. Anything. Yeah. I think we may we we can invite some other guests next time too. Yeah, we should we should. Yes, yeah. Like a, like a special guest. Yeah, like. Yeah. 
Maybe like Waywation? Oh, Waywation? Lanjiaoishen, <laughs> you can ask people like Noah, Azraf, you know what? You're on the Weishen. 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 You can ask Eggman, can ask anyone you want. You want oh, none, none, of these, none of these people have seen Weishen, bro. None of these people have seen Weishen. Show them Weishen. Yeah, 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 you want Weishen. Okay. Best. This man is right now beside me. Then, we should let, I should yeah, let Ben. Yeah, maybe we can have him. Oh, yeah, we gotta yeah, invite yeah. Ben when he wins. No, we'll just talk something yeah, before yeah. Show Poppy down and see you that shit yeah. Okay, let's, okay, let's go, let's go. Hey, uh, Singaporean representative right here, Mr. Benjamin Isa Roberts, huh, guys? Hmm. <laughs> you feel not, Ben? Say some things, man. How are you feeling right, right now? So, personally, I mean, going back into the World 5 meta is pretty... nothing new, I mean. It's uh, basically uh, almost a three deck format, as always. So, I mean, nothing new to expect. So, I think personally, we'll just see mostly uh, three of the most popular decks will be, I think, Saka, Angel, and definitely P. Luffy. So, but the rest will be like minorities in terms of like, um, I think we'll see maybe like one. Zoro, one Wuta, maybe one Kata, these kind of things, etc. But uh, basically, if you ask me about my preparation wise, I think uh, preparation wise, uh, so due, zero. yeah, due to like, uh, I would like to say that uh, Alfred, Noel, and even Chenhui and a few of the guys have been helping me prepare. So I would say, in a sense, I'm feeling prepared. Okay, don't talk so much, Ray. Eh? You feeling prepared, but you think you win or not? <laughs> win, I can't say much. Yeah, no, I know. You I just, can't... you think you're going to win or not? Don't talk so much, Ray. Eh? Are you going to win, man? If I no. you are, I sure say I'm going to settle all of them. Ah, I, I you can... prepare so much, then then ask you can win or not. You cannot even say yes with confidence. <laughs> we are fucked! Singapore is fucked! Okay, I will win. Yes. Well, you got this. I think the question is, do you see yourself going to the top chart? Yeah. Oh, and... so say yes lah, Ben. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, must have the manifest the then, energy. Of course, must have the confidence, ma. So yes, confirm, guy, confirm. Yeah, that's, confirm. that's yeah, that's what we want to hear. You win. You win. <laughs> <laughs> the Nika is yours. The Nika is but yours. Think... Let's go. <laughs> Well, 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 well,